Tokai is unique in that it's made with a combination of dry wine and sweetened with these azu berries, which are turned into a paste. So we make a dry white wine from our native grape varieties, Ferment, Harsh Levelu, and Yellow Muscat. And to that wine, we add a paste made from the azu berries, which sweetens the wine. The proportion of azu berries added to the wine dictates the level of sweetness and is classified in terms of putoin. And putoin are baskets. Originally, the azu berries would be collected into wooden baskets which held around 25 kilos of grapes. So to produce a five putoinos wine requires five baskets of these grapes, in other words, 125 kilograms of azu berries, which are added to 136 litres of dry white wine. It's a long drawn out process, but what it does give you is a wine that's unique. Now there are great sweet wines around the world, Sauterne, Vendor Constance in South Africa, Ice Wine, TBA, all have their own qualities. Tokai and the Azu wines develops uh, its very special character by maintaining the acidity of the dry wine uh, and adding the sweetness. So you will find acidity levels in Tokai, which are approximately double that of Sauterne. And that means that when you taste the wine, you're not left with a, a cloying sweetness, you have a beautiful freshness. There's a very distinctive noise you often hear when people have tasted Tokai Azu, which is a sort of lip smacking. Now obviously, we love it when people want to uh, taste another glass, it never becomes too heavy. And it does also allow it to partner with other grape varieties.